Coin. Coin. What's up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And uh, you may have noticed that we are on a different screen than usual. Uh, one of the first things that I want to say today is that uh, there are two other, um, that I know of, uh, other codes to get some uh, interesting uh, card art things. Card styles. That, that, uh, that is Parallax Potion for Revitalize and uh, Super Scry for the Ixalan version of, art, or of Opt. But really quickly, uh, before I jump into the promo or anything, I, I, I want to preface and say... Today I'm going to be talking about the cosmetics, because my opinions have changed. But now, if you would like to spend your money on something, uh, something that you physically have and that you get to choose, why not spend it at flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a great deal, and it helps support the show. Now, we are going to be playing, that's the reason I showed the treasure, is because we're going to be playing the treasure event. Now, the reason uh, I, I chose this time to talk really quickly, and it's going to be relatively brief, about the um, the cards is that I am no longer going to be spending actual money on any of the um, card styles. And the reason is, after looking at them more closely and seeing uh, people have them post on Reddit and seeing this, it's shoddy work. I think that, as I've said before, uh, I think that the prices are just a little bit too high. I don't think they're they're super egregious or anything, but I do think they're a little too high. But when you factor in the fact that this is just a mirror here. Uh, where's my thing? Darn, it, it disappeared. Uh, it's just a mirror. That's, that's I mean, it's, it's unforgivable, right? So I'm going to, I'm just going to go to a two drop really quickly. That's not what I want to do. So you can see on the edges that actually I think I can do. Yes. So you can see here on the edges, right? That's just... It's just mirrored, right? It's at the very edge. I, I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they thought this would be fine. And it's worse on... We're actually just going to do this, and we're going to go to Planeswalker. I need to undo the two. But Vivian, at the very top, when she's in play... Yeah, oh, no, there it is. You can see her head. You can see the top of her head. And then over here, her, her little Jaguar friend, it's just it's just like mirrored. And that's that's just a super lazy thing for them to do. Um, it makes a Johnny's little staff thing look strange. I just... I'm very disappointed. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you can tell. But, you know, many of them can't really notice because it's just like an actual background. Like on Dovin here, you can see the line, right? But it's it's not very noticeable. But on others, it's it's just in your face. It's so, look, this, look at this Orzhov woman in the background on the left. She has one giant eye. It's horrifying. I So I will no longer be... Uh, buying these until Wizards address this. And what's what's really confusing to me is that this is something they've done before on the box toppers for Ultimate Masters. Why didn't they just zoom in like they did there? It makes no sense. Very few people are going to be super annoyed if they just have to stretch the art a little bit, right? I, I still think the sleeves are a fine value, um, but when it, when it comes to the card styles, honestly, I don't think you should buy them. And... I did say in previous videos that um, that I, I I think that they're worth it in terms of uh, people who just want to spend that extra money. Don't. Yeah, of course you can do what you want because, you know, it's your money. Use it when you need it. Call JD Wentworth. But I, I'm just betrayed, I think. And some people are going to take issue with that. But that's just how I feel about it because it, I'm fine with that price if it weren't poorly executed, you know? So that, that's enough of that talk for right now. We're going to jump into the deck tech. We're going to get into the actual video. This is a deck that uh, I actually got from someone on Aetherhub. Uh, I, I think his name is Giz, Gizmo MCS. Could be Gizmom CS. I don't actually know. Uh, but it looks like this, this uh, individual has some really interesting uh, decks up on their Aetherhub account. And uh, I will have his link down in the description. But uh, the reason I just decided to actually do this instead of make my own deck is because I didn't have a lot of time today. <laughs> Because I had to run some participants through a study. Anyway, that said, uh, this is in kind of an angel, an angel style mid range controlish deck, uh, and it's a, a ton, a, a ton of fun. I was gonna say a bunch and a ton at the same time. Whatever. Uh, four shit and fires because plenty of people in this mode are playing relatively aggressive strategies, uh, but it also works with uh, some of the later end things. You'll be able to, you know, get some value. Two main fires. We get treasures every turn. This is how you beat control. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You're going to be able to just get a bunch of mana and banefire them to death. Three Tithe Takers, two Dire Fleet Daredevils. 
Uh, both of these are totally fine against the aggro decks. Uh, Dire Fleet obviously can uh, get a shock from one of your opponent's uh, graveyards and then shock one of their uh, their own things, uh, or you can use it against control, which is very helpful. But uh, the fact that it's first strike, very helpful against uh, aggro, and the, the value you can get from uh, playing it against control, like if they play a Thought Erasure, for example, uh, that's very helpful. And then Tide Taker just is is annoying blocker because it uh, blocks twice, and it's an annoying card uh, for your uh, opponents who have maybe counter spells. Uh, one game I was able to Tide Taker into Shalai, and my opponent was unable to cast their what I think is Absorb because of the fact that Tithe Taker um, made it so that their counter spell cost three or four. Sorry, two treasure maps. Uh, you could probably run uh, get away with running another one. Uh, this format does feel a little fast in that three turns isn't great, uh, but the fact is this cries and. Since you're getting treasures every turn, this turns into an every turn you have an extra card draw. Two, Resplendent Angels. This can really spiral out of control, which is very helpful, and it's a mana sink for something you can do with your treasures. Uh, Death and Clarion can often just gain you a bunch of life if you need it, but also it just it just hits planes, or er, hits creatures, which is nice. As you can see, we are kind of uh, more top-loaded than other decks theoretically could be, uh, and that is because we're going to be getting treasures every turn. Two Shalai, fantastic against uh, pretty much anyone who wants to point stuff at your face. Two Rekindling Phoenix, because it's just a value bird. Who doesn't like value birds? Two Aurelias, because it's an angel, and it works. <laughs> Two Exclans Binding, to get rid of any of those pesky uh, non-creature type things. The reason I say non-creature type things is because we have plenty of ways to deal with creatures, but, you know, this helps us deal with Planeswalkers, helps us deal with things like other enchantments, etc. Uh, Two Shalai Wreckage, because, once again, Go away. <laughs> One Angel of Grace, just in case. I like how that rhymed. Three Lyra's, because she's really the main point of the deck. We want to just be gaining life and hitting our opponent's face, and it's so sublime. So uh, One Cleansing Nova, because sometimes we need to blow up the trash. Speaking of blowing up the trash, Star of Extinction does that and hits Planeswalkers. Always nice. And then, of course, one Immortal Sun, because screw you, Planeswalkers, I want to draw more cards. This is our mana base. Arch of Araska is pretty helpful here because you're going to be able to activate City's Blessing, or get City's Blessing active really quickly. And I would actually probably advise having uh, another one in there because of the fact that our mana base isn't going to be too much of an issue, seeing as we're going to get treasure. Now, I did play a couple games with this, but I didn't want to actually, like, play an entire run of it because I wanted to make sure that people saw the like the prize when i get them uh so we have two wins we need three more in order to uh get the the high prize and what i really appreciate about this is help me asap sure uh what i really appreciate about this is that you don't have to win four times <laughs> or you, you don't have to win for five four times and we can as i said we can keep this hand because we're gonna have treasure right oh god there's so many things i have to talk about today uh so for this, right, there, there's free entry. You get uh, one of the rewards, which I don't recall. I know one of them is skewer, maybe? Look, I don't remember. I don't care about these dang cards. Um, but you get one of the like common rewards or something um, for just any any win. So we have that already. Um, but to get to five, you'll get a another card style, which is, I guess, like a rare or something. But whereas the Galta version, you had to win five five games in a row not in a row but you know five five game win four whole times sucked it did it absolutely sucked especially since it was relatively short um in terms of how uh the, the time frame you had to to deal with it so here i think i'm just going to go ahead and play another mountain and attack in with my tide taker and I have a Shiv and Fire, which is helpful, but we'll go ahead and turn here. And next turn, we can actually just play Lyra, which is so dumb. Um, let's see, was that it? Yeah, so, you know, it's nice that you only actually have to win five in a row once, or five total once. Wilderness Reclamation. Go fart yourself. We're going to Cleansing Nova to blow... Oh, he has a negate, doesn't he? Uh, oh, but Tithe Taker. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Bite me. So yeah, if, if my opponent does have a negate, uh, it's going to be eaten by Tithe Taker here, and uh, that is, as I said, why uh, Tithe Taker is great. Now, obviously, they can still spell pierce us, which would suck, but uh, this is absolutely worth it, I think. Okay, does does set us back a little bit from being able to play Lyra, but if we draw a land next turn, if we draw a white land next turn, we can still play Lyra. Uh, but, you know, we're still getting in the chip damage. So yeah, opponent going for some sort of big, greedy mana deck, which makes sense. Still going to complain that uh, this number is not bordered... Excuse me, that this number is not boarded and this one is. Just seems dumb to me. Uh, that's kind of lame. But that's fine. We'll just attack in here. Unfortunately, like, three of the cards in our hand uh, look to be pretty much useless, which is kind of lame, but it's fine. Um, our first game in this little event was uh, Mono Red. And we beat them relatively handily. Um, 
I don't think there was anything super fantastic about it. I used an early Shivan Fire, then I used a um, an Ixalan's Binding on their uh, Steamkin, and they didn't really feel like sticking around all that much. Uh, I'm very unfortunate that we keep drawing cards that we don't need, but, you know, it's whatevs. Hopefully my Lyra will be able to resolve. Well, if they decide to kill Tithaker now... Sure, I'm absolutely fine with using both of your treasures to kill my Tithe Taker. I get a Afterlife token, so that wasn't even a one-for-one. One. And then I can just play Lyra. I will, of course, need to sack both of my treasures, but that's fine, since uh, I'm not really doing anything else with the mana. Because our opponent is likely not playing any creatures at all. Uh, yeah, we might die. Hopefully Lyra sticks around. Being able to gain some life against this deck is probably going to be very important. I do think this is probably like a teamier, teamier, uh, teamier burn deck. Uh, using things like Expansion Explosion, etc, etc. So, uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk on, talk about briefly before I start getting into my rant territory, is, uh, th really? <laughs> I drew, like, all my ship fires? Alright, well, I'm going to try and attack. Hopefully my opponent can't do anything about this. Of course they can. I hate you so much. Oh, I need to probably turn my phone off. Or, turn my sound off. <sighs> so. Oh, come on. What is, uh, what is this nonsense? Look at this. Why is there a shadow for this, dude? <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, what else is stupid is my annoying opponent. I hate you very much. Initially, I was going to, um... I assume they're going to have another flashy nonsense. Um... Initially, I was going to have uh, a treasure deck, but I thought, I don't know, this is too obvious. Yes, let me dome you. You must die. You must perish. Good. Get killed. Also, for what it's worth, just actually gaining the five life is going to be very helpful here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, they changed some things uh, that I think are better. For example, I like that they put an outline on this, but they didn't put an outline on the others, which is just stupid. This makes absolutely no sense. Uh, I do plan on flashing an Angel of Grace at the end of their turn. Fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. Uh, that could be incredibly bad. I want to win. I think, I think against a Thousand Year Storm deck, I, I'm supposed to wait. It, it kills me inside, but I think I'm supposed to wait. We do have Angel, uh, uh, the City's Blessing now, so we can start drawing extra cards, since uh, five of the cards in our hand is, isn't really a thing. Sure, that's totally fine. So yeah, playing the Angel Grace would not have done anything for me, so good to note. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think they made a few minor changes that are really good. And then, there's this nonsense, for some reason. Oh, right, it's this one up here. Oh my god, this has a thing too? That is so stupid. Oh god, they're gonna draw extra cards. Ah, oh, it sucks, go away. Why are you playing combo in this format? I hate you so much. That said, I do need to play another uh, Thousand Year Storm deck on the channel. I'm probably gonna play some Thousand Year Storm on the channel soon. Alright, so I'm incredibly afraid, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and at this point, I'm... Oh, right, sorry. The second game was against Esper Control. And I won that game because of Shalai. Well, Tide Taker into Shalai. Okay, um... They had three of their Wilderness Reclamations in the top... Not even 50%? Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Just, you know, whatever. Okay, so maybe, maybe our time has come to die. Uh, okay. Insight? Sure. <laughs> okay. The card styles, right? I understand why they, um... You're gonna have to discard a lot of cards, dude. Hmm. 
Note to self, maybe Shiv and Fire would be better as something else. Um, they... Yeah, whatever. I understand why they wanted the guild bundles to be their own, like, separate thing. And, like, for, kind of force you to get the avatars bundled with stuff. Just to make more money. I understand that. I think that they priced it too much. But the, the fact... The fact of the matter is... The card styles... Are not something that took a lot of time to do. Right? It took time. I recognize that. You know, some, some person had to... Jeez, my opponent... 20 cards left in the deck. He's still 46. As I said, I absolutely think that, um... Jeez. I absolutely think that, um... The sleeves, for the most part, I think those are really well done. You know, I don't see, like, any any problems with the sleeves. I really should have hit Resolve All. Um... You know, the card backs, as it were. Because they're not, they're not sleeves, right? They don't protect your cards. They're just card backs. Um, plenty of people have said the card backs from Hearthstone are, like, literally free. And I, I agree. They are. They absolutely are. And if Wizards doesn't... Add more free cards, or more free card backs, then I do think they're kind of trash. They're going to shock me. How many is that going to be? That's also lame, that this doesn't do a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six... Right, so that's 12 damage? Yeah, that's fine. And I do this first because I want to wait for Angel's Grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Yep, that's fine. Man, they still they still have another Wilderness Reclamation trigger. This is stupid. Ugh. Okay, so they're mostly tapped out now, so I should Angel's Grace now. Oh, he's targeting Lyra. You suck. Yep, Lyra's gonna die. That's unfortunate. So I can definitely clear in to gain a little bit of life back, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna matter. Real unfortunate. Yeah, wizards, 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 I don't know what they're doing, dude. Kill that all you want. It's not, it's still, it's an effect that is on me. I should have pressed resolve all. I'm dumb. Yep, still targeting me for some reason. Yep, that, uh... I mean, it saves their life, and it makes it so I can't actually gain any more. I can gain life with Angel of Grace, but... The dude's gonna have to discard a lot. So that's nice, I guess. Wizards Wizards not only needs to change the the card styles, they need to address this, like, now. I understand they're, they're doing the Mythic and Invitational and stuff. Uh, I, I expect them to wait until it's over, and then, after it's over, they need to... Why, though? Wait, what? Until end of turn? So it happened... At oh, no, they did that on Mobkeep, okay. I was very confused. Alright, well, that was one loss, that's awkward. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, like, as soon as, as soon as the Mythic Invitational is over, they, they need to address it. Frankly, it's... It's par partially my fault. I should have I should have looked closer to the cards. I should have inspected them more to make sure that it wasn't garbage. For what it's worth, uh, last last game I had an awful hand, right? I I, for, I should say I had an awful hand for the matchup uh, that we were against, right? Um, yeah, like I mean this this is a free card back card, yeah, card back. Uh, so that's nice. Oh, is it just is it nothing but combo? That would suck if it's nothing but combo. Uh, Ixalan's Binding definitely helps, though. I'm going to go and play Shalai, because I think Shalai is uh, really important. Uh, I do need to draw more damn lands. I was about to say, there's no way you can counter that. Um, yeah, it's, it's... It's just lazy, right? It's just lazy. 
Like, if they cost how much they were, and they were impeccable, fair. They're not impeccable, even even beyond the fact that uh, they have that issue. No, nah, they're not impeccable, right? But if they cost a little bit less and weren't impeccable, also totally fine. They are bad because of the mirror, because of the mirroring effect. And they cost how much they are. If they were bad and they were like half, maybe, then I'd be like, whatever. But it, it, it it's just is lazy and rude. Frankly, like, I might get a lot of flack for talking about this this way. Like, I would not say that in any way I'm like a Wizards fanboy. Uh, but I, or Wizards fanboy or a Wizards hater. You know, I just, when I see nonsense, I'm just like, hey, that's, that's not, it's not cool, right? People, you, you don't have to, as, I, as I've said uh, before, you don't actually have to buy, um, buy the stuff with real money. Um, you can absolutely grind for it. But the thing is, the people who will grind for it, they're spending their time, and I understand they're playing the game. They, they should be getting enjoyment from the game they're playing, but they're still, excuse me, spending their time to get something that Wizards didn't care enough to make sure it was good before they release it, right? Like, it takes five seconds to look at a Vivian Reed and say, this is wrong on at least two levels. So, it's just frustrating. I could Ixalan's Binding this, but I don't think I want to. I think I would much rather try and Binding a, um, a Thousand Year Storm. Uh, blue red not super known for their ability to deal with that so I'll just pass the turn here um, next one I'll have another treasure so I might as well still scry yeah I, I guess that's that's all the the rage I'm gonna give for right now I because I, 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 I don't know I don't I don't like I don't like talking negatively right it's not fun but I I, sh I should I, I feel it would I would be doing a disservice if I didn't state my issues with um with that and how my my mind has changed uh, from from further looking at it. So, fiery cannonade, incredibly rude. So I'm just going to cast Shalai again. Why? <laughs> it's fine. Sure. Draw. So this Shalai could get countered, which would suck. Dude's got four cards in hand. Pretty far away from this. Looks like it's gonna get countered. Nope. Alright, sure. Whatever, I guess. Oh yeah, whatever. Uh, resolve all. Don't care. Yeah, I don't I don't like talking negatively uh, about new stuff. Cause I like I'm excited, right? Like the idea of having cosmetics in this game is great. A lot of people are annoyed that it is still in beta and there's plenty of things that they haven't fixed, and then they like they dare to charge money for um for things that are frankly unnecessary right um there's still no friendless um there's no spectate mode there's no chat the uh, emotes are still like super outdated um you know there's there's plenty there's plenty to complain about um and i do think that uh sure i think that there are legitimate concerns that wizards does not seem with with their actions Right. It doesn't seem that Wizards cares as much as they should about the players having the best time. Go ahead and attack in. Gain a little bit of life, which as I said is probably helpful against these Is it burn decks. So opponent can put a sixth one into their hand. That's fine. I'm at ten, so you know or they're at ten. So they're not doing fantastically, but uh, everything could change with a flip of a coin. Because my opponent is probably just waiting on the world to just look at this shit. Like, this, this is just stupid. Like, how does this get back past QA? Like, there's no way someone played through this version of the game and said, Oh, these things? Yeah, they're fine. They, they don't look weird at all. He could have hit my own land. He doesn't know that, right? Why did he do that? He... Let me just double check Shalai real quick. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures. Yeah, my opponent didn't know what the... Didn't know what that card did. So that's awkward. 
Um, I think I do have to get rid of search. I mean, my point, my point screwed themselves, kinda. Uh, we get to draw a card, which is nice. Don't need all these tree jar. Wait, what? And now this, what? The sun's not even going in the same. Oh. My opponent is one turn from dead. Okay. If it, okay. So the plan is we exile their search for Escanta. Bada bing, bada bye. And then we kill them next one with Banefire. That's the plan, Stan. Passe la Torn. Also, um, I'm probably going to keep Kai around for a while because she's really grown on me. Liliana's still bay. Right? I, She's still bay. But Kaya's also cool. <laughs> For what it's worth, Liliana, zombies, Kaya, ghosts, you know. I, although, I guess, I guess, well, no, Kaya doesn't kill all ghosts. She let those ghosts free. Eh, you know. Look, alright, she's cool, and it's probably like 50%, it's probably like 80% because she's wearing Orzhov clothes. And as I've said previously, Orzhov is my favorite guild aesthetically. They look awesome. Uh, speaking of which, this this contest thing is still uh, still live. In the description down below, I will be putting all of the hints I've given so far. I should hit resolve. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I, I will be putting all of the hints I've given so far. I believe I've given four. Uh, and feel free in the comments down below to uh, try and excuse me figure out what exactly my favored guild order is. And I'll be I'll be putting the rest of like the rules and stuff. Not rules, just the the, the layout of the game, as it were. Uh, down in the description, so. Uh, goodbye, opponent. I barely knew ye. Oh, well. Quick maths. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1, that's 3 quick maths. I'm not going to say the next line because YouTube uh, is likes likes demonetization and uh, I would like to continue uh, playing games on my channel, please. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. This dude's name is Kisuke and he has Lazav as the avatar. This person is a cool guy, cool guy. This is a bad hand. Right? I'm going to a treasure map. We got treasure map on turn one. And we have Lyra on like turn three, potentially. I'll keep it because I love greed. Oh man, they're in on the Dimir sleeves too. We got a sweet edgelord. But hey, who am I to judge? Points on black white. My assumption, frankly, is going to be a treasure based deck. I think my opponent is going in on the treasure. They're going to try to kill me with it. Real talk, though. I love these card decks. <laughs> Do I... I don't know. I, I dislike the fact that you can only get them... Okay, that's trash. Go away. That you can only get them in the bundle. But they look good, in my opinion. I do think the card backs are well done. All of them. Um, I don't necessarily think that they're all priced properly. I think I still think that maybe they should be priced a little bit less. But still... It, it, so good. What does what does his do? It just like leaks information. I like it. To fairy. The fuck is this? I mean, no. What the fuck is this? You're over here playing blue. Nope. I wasn't even told. This is a betrayal of the highest order. Ah! ah no! Ah! It's fine, I wanted to play Lyra this turn anyway. So this is going to get countered, and I'm going to be sad. Please don't actually counter me, that was a joke. Thank you. Uh, it's fine, though, because it's going to get killed, and I'm going to be sad. Or it's going to be bounced by Teferi, I'm going to be sad. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of treated, we get kicked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard not life. 
Standing on the corners popping. Driving the hottest cars New York has ever seen. Something about a dope box and smoke smoke box at the murder scene. You know me well. I don't I don't remember Art all of Hard Knock Life. Look, I listened to that song long ago. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and why did I it's fine, I would have kept this on top anyway. I'm gonna try and go ahead and get rid of this to ferry, but uh, this is probably gonna get counter spelled. Alright, we're gone. Bye bye. I'm not I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to change my deck, uh, probably to something more treasure aligned, uh, and I'll put I'll put that in the comment or in the description as well, uh, so you can check out the other deck that I used. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I might try a bunch of decks. Whichever deck I get five wins with is the deck that I will put in the description as well. Uh, but this is the, you know this is the recording. I think that's fine. But also, I want to I want to go ahead and claim prize. Let's see if Skewer the Critics is bad. Well, uh, considering the fact that there's chains at ninety degree angles. This is a 90 degree angle chain here on the left side. And look, a 90 degree chain on the right side. This is unacceptable! What was the... What was the other one? Chemist's Insight? Oh, it's not even a rare. <laughs> it's just fucking Chemist's Insight. What the fuck? <sighs> oh, Alright, so, so... So, just to reiterate, in the store. I still think this is fine. I think it's a little costly because these are boring. Um... It, oh my god, I could have just taken a look at this. The, it, it's so bad. Why? Wizards, why? Uh, I mean, that one doesn't look terrible. What the hell was that? This one also, like, really hard to tell, but... Which which was it that was, like, super noticeable? Oh, this one? Look on the right side there. It's terrible. But yeah, this this not great. Uh, avatars, these, totally fine. I don't like that this, it's that angry, but whatever. Sleeves, I think these are fine, right? I think, honestly, these are these are totally reasonable. I think they should probably be like 400, 500 uh, gems instead of uh, 600. Um, you know, they are plain, but they are meant to look like they're meant to look, and I think, obviously, this is... It's lovely. I don't care what anyone says, it's gorgeous. I, ugh, man, I, I don't know, you know what? Let me know what you all think about this down below. I, again, I really, I really don't want to come off as like super negative. Uh, obviously, I was very positive about this at first um, because you know it, I didn't notice many of those flaws, and uh, I, I still think the price is only, in general, only slightly too much. But the fact that they're also not good <laughs> makes me uh, makes me not happy. Anyway, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Salamander and Croft, for the continued support. If you'd like to join them in supporting the channel, you'll find links to that down in the description below. You can also just press that join button and uh, become a channel member, which gets all the same perks as a patron, technically plus more. Um, if you would also like to find the Discord down there, you'll be able to hang out, chat, talk to me, talk to other members of the community, ask for deck advice and things like that. And then, of course, you'll find links to the artist's website um, for the, the thumbnail art. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though I was a ranty, uh, I, I was ranty a little bit too much, in my opinion. If you did, go and tap that like button, add a subscription to your manipool, cast one of those comments to the comment section down below, and pass the turn and the video to some of your friends, and until next time, all will be one.